Hello and welcome to the second video that yeah. we're going to do. Uh, this one's going to be about basics of passing. Passing, that's right. Um, we're going to go back to basics and do a couple of things that you can do at home to practice your passing drills. So, based on what we did last week with our fingers, the first thing we need to do when we pass the ball is to know how to hold it properly, don't we? With a rugby ball, if you are passing that way, you ideally want to have your hands with the outside hand lower than the inside hand, so that you end up in a situation like that with your fingers, okay? And if you're passing the other way, you want to have your outside hand at the bottom of the ball, the opposite way around. The reason for that is because your arms are the same length and that you're, when you pass the ball, you pass it across your body from your hip and out. So if you tried to do it the other way around, it wouldn't really work. So that's why we do it that way, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to practise passing the ball to, from Oscar to me. And by doing that, we are doing a very simple process. The first one is, look at the target the second one is swing the ball and follow through so that your hands point at the target when you've finished okay so we'll try that again one more time good remember what i'd like you to do is when you finish the pass hold your hands pointing at me where the target is and count to two ready okay. One, two, good. Let's try that again. One, two, good. Let's try it again. One, two, brilliant. All right, swap over. We'll do it from this side. So from this side, Oscar. Same again. So you're going to change your hands around, aren't you? Yeah. And using your fingers, like we did last week. Boom. Good. Excellent. One, two. Good. One, two. So obviously, when you're at home doing this it can be, you're quite close together, aren't you? So if you get time to go outside and do stuff, this really does help. But initially, what's really important is just getting that accuracy with the ball. So you need to be looking at me, not the camera. I like the camera. I know. So if you look at me, target, pass the ball, okay? So you look at the target, pass the ball. Excellent, swap over again. If you want to try and do a little bit of spin with it as you're passing the ball, the secret to spinning the ball isn't this thing where you see some kids trying to do that as they pass it. So this sort of thing is not how you pass okay. a rugby ball, okay? If you want to start trying to spin the ball a little bit, which you can do, but really we're only interested in accuracy, aren't we? And catching. So if you want to be able to pass the ball with a bit of spin on it, all you're doing is as you pass the ball and you you go to the targets, hang on, your hands, your inside hand just follows the ball, your outside hand comes over and follows it over. So when you finish, you want to have both your palms facing down. Okay, so let's try that. Good. Okay, so I'll pass it back to you. So again, so it's like that and up. Good. Same way the other way. Good. Try that. Good. Okay, do you want to swap over this side? All right. So you have to think about that one now, aren't you? So again, you want your hands in a good position on the ball with your thumbs over. That's it. On your fingers, remember, not on your palms. Okay. And then we're going to do a nice little pass. Okay, try that again. Remember, it's only the outside hand that's doing all the work. Okay, the other hand is just, and you want to end up with your hands together. Yeah, hands together. Okay, that's good. Try that again. Good, hands together, remember. And swing. There you go. That's a good one, isn't it? Okay, ready, Oscar? <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay. 
I was good with them. Mm, okay, you spun it with the back of your hand. That's cheating. That's not a very practical way. The reason that won't work is because it won't work over a long distance. Okay, so if you have any trouble with the ball, okay, with holding the ball, this is something that kids often get wrong, is you find that they will do it like this to try and spin the ball okay. or they'll do it like this to try and spin the ball when actually the correct hand position needs to be with thumbs over on your fingers and you get to a situation where you're looking like that so your, your hand is pretty much square to the ball that way Oscar okay when you pass it it goes straight to the target Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, that's a good effort. That's a good effort. So your accuracy, up you get. Your accuracy is getting much better there. So what's the first thing you do when you're going to pass the ball? You uh, look. Look. And then what do you do when you're going to pass? You're going to pass it from your hip to the target and follow through with your hands. Perfect. So that's great. So that's, that's probably all we're going to do for today.